in trade, that the case for Kimarel was a fraud. Because it was. You know? Because it was. Because that case was being used politically. And that is why I have said we do not want political cases. And that's why I have told the investigative agencies I don't want them to help me with politics. I will do my politics. I will look for supporters. I will look for uh, the, all these groups, you know, uh, lobby groups and what have you. I will do politics. Them, they should dispense justice. No. And under my administration, there is nobody who will be prosecuted because of politics or politically or because they don't, they don't, they are not aligned to this way and that way. But you, nobody is going to hide behind politics that because you are a, a politician or because you are a friend of the president or because you are a relative of the president, you are not prosecuted. That one I have said in public and I have told every uh, cabinet minister, nobody should go to their office and tell them the president has sent them or they are a relative of uh, Mr. X or Mr. Y. I will not send anybody to any office to do anything. Na, they must do their job in accordance with the law. Mheshimiwa Rais unaposema unamaanisha kwamba hakuna pesa zozote za mtoto wa ushuru zilizopotea katika kesi hii inayohusiana na mabao ya Aror na Kimaror. Sisi ndio tulipoteza hiyo pesa kwa sababu serikali wakati ilienda ikasimamisha hawa uh, hawa ma, ma contractor, mm -hmm. the contractors the contractors went to court right because they hadn't committed any crime number one we were supposed to give them land to do the dam you know we didn't give them the land the land was there but somehow and i don't want to accuse we, i think we have said let's 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 not talk about the past yeah. whoever was there decided they should not get the land because they wanted to frustrate the project the, the land the, the, the thing disappeared the dci was mobilized to go and get the contractor in itari you know, the, uh, up to today, nobody knows what the problem was with Italy. They went to court. We have had to go and negotiate. I have had to go, I have had to go and negotiate with Italy mm -hmm. for your information. For us to settle, because we were going to pay 40 billion for nothing, without anything on the ground. So we've had to negotiate. So, so, so then, is there, is there a correlation between your negotiations with the Italian government, and the president was actually here, uh, of Italy that is, is there a relationship between that and the withdrawal of charges against all these accused persons? No, ask the court. I um, mean, the, the, uh, the, the court has been going on. Yeah. What did the court say? There were no witnesses, because the, what happened, the court the witnesses... said this was a prosecution-driven acquittal because there's no longer any cooperation. And the reason I'm asking this question is because you stood at the steps of the front of this building mm -hmm. and you said that uh, you have agreed with the president of Italy to withdraw all cases against uh, the farms in Italy and Italy was also going uh, to withdraw all cases against the government of Kenya. Correct. So I'm asking the question because initially there were several people that had been um, presented before court. Some of them, I think even the current central bank uh, governor, uh, Kamal Thuge, is there a relationship? Because you said withdrawal will be done. When we talked is, about... Is there a consequence? No. What we said about the withdrawal was they took us to court in London. We made a counterclaim just to make sure that we are not, we are not, uh, we are not exposed. Mm -hmm. So when we made the counterclaim, then that's how the case was continuing. So we said, for that matter, they are going to withdraw their case in, in, uh, in the arbitration court. We were going to do the same. It had nothing to do with the cases in Kenya because the cases in Kenya were criminal. The cases in, uh, in the arbitration were contractual. So these were very different <coughs> cases. So the case has been going on in the Kenyan courts, mention after mention. I mean, and by the way,